In 2500 BCE, there was a powerful, progressive, and incredibly wealthy port city next, dominating the Red Sea. It developed into one of the greatest port cities in the world. It was a key trading member involved in the Red Sea Indian Ocean commerce in the early centuries CE. The town also maintained an important monetary market for merchants exchanging goods in the currencies of the Roman Empire. Welcome back to another SSN report. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you are new to this channel and without further ado let's go back in time. The ancient Macrobian people were a regional power reputed for their advanced architecture and gold wealth, which was so plentiful that they shackled their prisoners in golden chains. The ancient Macrobians, who have been ancestral to the ancient Somalis, established a powerful tribal kingdom that ruled large parts of modern Somalia. They were reputed for their status and wealth, for the Macrobians were warrior herders and seafarers. According to Herodotus' account, the Persian emperor Cambyses II, upon his conquest of Egypt, 525 BC, sent ambassadors to Berbera, bringing luxury gifts for the Macrobian king to surrender to the Persian Empire. The Macrobian ruler, who was elected based on his stature and beauty, replied instead with a challenge for his Persian counterpart in the form of an unstrung bow. If the Persians could manage to draw it, they would have the right to invade his country, but until then, they should think the Macrobians never decided to invade their empire. The Macrobians were a regional power reputed for their advanced architecture and gold wealth, which was so plentiful that they shackled their prisoners in golden chains. The Harla people also living in this city were credited for building various monuments in Horn Africa and were also part of the Proto-Somali. 6. The streets were paved, numerous gates led into the walled city that had over 250 towers that were at least 100 meters high. This is where frankincense grew in abundance and business and commerce was flourishing. Ferries, roads, and drawbridges ensured efficient transport. The city's wealth was unimaginable. The people created impressive architectural works of art out of gold. There was a beautiful table that was supposedly made of 22,000 kilos of pure gold, with a golden lion and a golden statue of a man. The majestic royal palace was the largest ever built in world history. This ancient port city used to exist in what is now modern-day Somaliland, till today remains a juggernaut in commerce and trading due to the strategic location of this port city on the Red Sea. This is currently where the Muhammad and Adam Isa clan reside. If you like this report, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more content just like this. Until next time assalamu alaikum.